Grab accuracy for that. And we are once again going to grab Avid Learner. Furthermore, I'm going to drop this off. And I'm going to swap these around. Now, it isn't to say that I have to make one character an archer and one character not. That isn't actually uh, a requirement. In fact, you know what? Let me actually have a quick check of something. Let's have a look at the night reward. Have we got a bow? No, we don't. That's a shame. Accuracy and momentum, but lower critical. More health, more healing received, more EXP gain. That's a strong contender. Light armor, better skill range. Hmm. Actually, these are all kind of nice. But 30, minus 13 reliabilities. So there'll be a much bigger gap between the, mid, the damage floor and the damage ceiling. Is this a trinket slot? It's a trinket slot. That's 10% momentum, though. And the plus 5% range. No, we're going to grab this one. Now at 8% ranged. Uh, sorry, wrong character. There we are, 15% ranged. There's just no reason for me to not make you into the, into the archer for the group. It just isn't. Right, let's level you up. Uh, we're going to be going with either physical damage, which I would need to mitigate the uh, lower physical damage here. Or armor, so you can just absorb more damage. I think we're going to go with armor. Yeah. Momentum is nice, accuracy is okay, daily health regen is quite nice, especially if we then build into gaining armor based on our daily health regen. Because it's a it's a solid 15 extra health. Um, or the healing to avoid issues with enemy accuracy. Right now we're not really facing people who've got much dodge. Well, we haven't unlocked spears yet, uh, Viero. But hopefully soon. Let's go with accuracy, though. I think we'll grab that one early on. And I'm going to get everyone EXP to start with. I think it's a better move early on. Right, none of our peeps need mana, which is nice. Uh, we can't afford anything right now, which is sad. But we'll get 20 extra materials for one worker. Okay. And we can use that once per day. Proves the effect to an e by an extra 15. Um, upgrade scavenger uses per production phase 2. That would actually be really nice. But for now, we can't really do much more with that. So let's instead break down some stuff we're not going to need. I want to take away items that will be along the area where they might be able to attack us. Grab some more materials this time. Buy new gear. Let's have a look. Got a mana pot if I need it, a helmet, most of my people can't wear them. Got hammers over here. Now, the hammers will be new to those who've just been watching me uh, play through the tutorial. So, you got your regular just hammer smash skill, does a decent amount of damage. You can do it five times a turn, which is good. You've got a crush skill, which you can do twice, but is opportunistic by nature. And you've got a smash skill. Secondary effect. This effect applies to the tiles around the skill's primary target and has a stun effect. That will be huge. 
Hello, Alec. How late am I to this? I, for some reason, didn't get a notification for this one. Uh, we are coming up to the seven-hour mark. You've missed my first run. We did quite well. Our first run is not meant to typically take that long, but we have suffered for it. So uh, just in case you're going to pick up this game yourself, you don't necessarily want to go for as far as you can in the first run. You kind of want to die early so that you can start accru uh, accruing essence a bit faster that being said you know we did uh, we did benefit from a bunch of unlocks so you know it's it's kind of kind of uh six or one and a half a dozen the other really okay let's get down some defenses we can comfortably afford to pop some of the stronger ones down Sure. That's actually quite heavily defended over there now. Right. Let's get you over there. Please and thanks. Let's get my archer and get my... Oh, wizard. There we go. I think that's good enough. Adak was mean to the tutorial, let's be honest. I was not mean, how dare. Alright. Now then, chat, do you want us to do predictions for this as well? Uh, I'm not going to be uh, using the Tainted Essence. I'm saving up so that we can get more action points. You want predictions, okay. I'm going to be interested to see how these predictions go based on my uh, my last run's progress. Okay, prediction has started. Get your predictions in. We'll wait until the predictions have been placed and then we'll uh, then we'll start things up. But yeah, I'm saving up the, the essence right now uh, for specifically Hello. Uh, action points. I want one extra action point on all heroes. That will be incredibly, incredibly powerful. What's the bottom bar on people? Looks kind of like a mana bar. Is that essence? Uh, yeah, it's mana bar. If you fail night two, you're going to have to do it on purpose. Shh, no. No, 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 no. I act a bit weird, but thank you. I started watching your stream at 11-ish last night. I haven't slept very well in weeks. That is, until now. Just woke up from the calmest night in a very long time. Your voice is very peaceful. Well, you're more than welcome. I'm very glad that you were able to sleep. Very glad. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Ah, Marla's folly. Okay, we've got uh, so far quite quite heavily heavily biased towards towards uh, blue believers. Sorry for being a doubter. Just want to see uh, that the believers get something. Oh, that's very kind of you, actually, Tangential Plasmon. I that is that that is the the dapperest way of of betting against my success that I have ever witnessed. A scholar and a gentle person you are. Just giving some ducats to the community, not an indication of faith in Avak. Yukamaru, you too. Thank you very much. Okay, odds. One to fifty odds. I can't sit that out. <laughs> Marla's folly. Once again, lured into putting your dapper ducats into the pink doubters just based on the promise of reward. Alright, time for us to begin. Let's get going. And back to hell. Hello. Please stop breaking my stuff, that's really rude. 
Na dobar. And then Avag just passes to it. It's the Rob chat. No, I would never do such a thing. How could you even suggest it? Uh, all right. Well, realistically, most of them aren't even going to be able to get close to us. So I actually kind of want to wipe you out if I can. Just drop a bit of pain there. Bit of pain over here. No, oh, I should probably have been going with the uh, heavy hits. I'm just so used to not doing that now. Okay. Alright, next up, I would like... I mean, I could spare two mana, I guess, but it seems unnecessary. Let's take out the runners first. Or at the very least hurt them enough that they can't run very well. Well, they are actually going to manage to make make it to the walls, though. Only one of you is going to make it there, so I'm not going to worry too much about that one. That said, getting through there would be difficult. Haven't got much movement after this, but that should do. I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna have to tank a hit, two hits actually, which is not really what I want to do. But sadly, there's not a lot I can do about that one. Uh, you're gonna capable of doing 23 to 28 damage, and magic damage is uh, ignores 50 percent of my resistance. You're only going to do 14 to 17. How much armor have we got? We've got 38 armor. It's going to hurt. It will actually hurt a little bit, but we're just going to have to tank the damage. It appears... Oh, they didn't. How curious. Hmm. They didn't press forward in, that, in the way I was expecting. All right, time to apply a bit of slowdown in a moment. Get rid of you. Get everyone there slowed. And you can make a lot of progress very easily. So let's just remove you. Most of them are now stopped. Now let's move up. We've got a good chunk of people there that I can drop a, uh, a lightning on. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, now, we could probably clear out quite a few of them in one go. I want you out of the way because you're moving too fast. Oh, damn it, I can't see you. Can I see you? I can, but I'm not going to really be able to do much to you, which is the problem. Okay, well, let's just get through here first. you off. Draw back. Man, I don't really want to use up that much of an attack. Let's just weaken you heavily. Who's the next biggest threat? You can reach, you can reach quite far. Most of them are going to be incapable of getting too close, but... I see you there. No, I still can't see you. Okay, fine. Right. Right, let's go for you then. Now, you're going to be able to get inside, which I don't really want to see happen. For the most part, though, you should be okay. We're going to take a little bit of damage on the walls, but that's all.
Getting up there wouldn't be a bad one. Need to start slowing people again. You're still slowed completely. Reposition to hopefully... No, can't get that angle. There we go. Take that! Indeed. Uh, let's get you out of the way. Right, they're not moving any closer. You are, though. So let's get rid of you as well. I would say I could drop a lightning on you and it should propagate out. Doing a good bit of damage. You. Now, we've got a couple that are going to be able to make their way inside if they really want to. Especially you. Now, this is the problem with the tome. Is it doesn't have the boosting ability for my swords person. We used those abilities to exceptionally good effect in the first run. Now we're going to struggle a bit. I have to use two attacks here, which is not exactly great. Yeah, that's a shame. And all the way through. Now, top of the wall. Okay, we do have a couple that are going to be flooding in in a moment, but by and large, we're now... What's here is all that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to lose some walls, but that's not the uh, the be-all, end-all. Yeah, we can get potions to restore health and mana and indeed uh, action points as well. Depending on the need. I am burning through mana a lot faster than I would like, though, I'm going to be honest. They're still fairly slow, and they're going to be incredibly slow, but they, they, are, they are slowed on the wall, which is not exactly the most useful for me. You up. There we go. Uh, let's drop some damage on as many people back there as I can. Just observe how far in they can move. Okay, that's not too bad. Right then, it's going to take most of your moves to get over here, which is kind of a pain, but... Clear them out, so they're not going to damage the walls. Uh... The problem is, if I stay around here, I'm going to get swarmed, and that is really not what I'm about right now. So instead, how far can you move? We should be able to attack. Didn't kill, that's fine. You can barely move. I'll just draw all the way back. Okay, these walls are in a fairly dire state, but none of them are on fire yet, so it is that. I spoke too soon! Good bit of damage there. And now let's start wiping them out. 
Now, one nice thing about this ability is it does allow me to attack fairly close, close up. And that is a nice change from the wand, because the wand was a bit of a pain in that regard. Hey, AC champ. How are you doing, mate? And thank you very much, Ghostly Anarchist. That was really kind of you. Thank you for the cheer. Now, if I could... If we can kill, this is going to be amazing, but... Oh, we did. We actually managed it. Well played. Okay. Now let's just do a lot of damage, and then we're going to slip across here. Whomp. Didn't manage to take you out, which is a shame, but oh well. And... Just slide the knife in there, and... Bail. Right, now let's have a look at how close you're going to be able to get so I can see where I need to move to try and avoid the worst of it. That should have me being safe. Yeah, I don't think anything can reach from there. Alright. 27 left. We're probably going to lose most of the vestige walls, but that's fine. Right, at this point, just lay down a lot of damage if you could. And it's not going to kill. I'm going to hold off for a second there. And attempted. Sure. There we go. Very nice indeed. Now we should be able to drop a reasonable amount of damage over there. Wipe out a couple. And I get a break in this line. Please and thank you. And we need to remove the panickers. My outfit fits full of guts now. Well, that is what's going to happen if you keep killing people. Uh, we can't take you out, but I could take some of the others out. Do I have a an attack with you? No, I don't. Okay. Well, let's just make sure that we can get this one. Thank you. And up there as well. And draw back. You can get close enough. Ooh, you're... Yeah, they're getting fast. Oh, you will actually reach. Damn it. And we're going to get hit by one. And there's not a lot I can do about that one now. Uh, let's hop over. Good enough. Did we actually lose any health from that? Yeah, we did. That's a shame. Alright. Well, it is a thing. Use the best of my power shots. And... Yeah, the power shots won't do enough to take them out, so I'll just use it on you. Uh, sorry, the regular shots, rather. Now, I need to remove them completely in order to avoid panic in the town. We don't want any panic, because that'll maximize our earnings from this, uh, from this mission. But you're, there's going to be plenty of you getting through, and there's not a lot I can do about that one. But I can finish you off. Three moves, not enough to get across there. You are actually uh, stuck still, so I'm fairly safe moving up. Okay. It'll only increase panic if they destroy something within the town, or they're here on the at the end of the turn. So if they are still there with the, pa with the panic exclamation mark at the end of the turn, at the end of my turn, then it actually increases the panic. Otherwise, it doesn't affect it. Couple of 
hits here. Remove your armor. And again. And we should be able to just hop through. And there we go. Why is the dancer using the sword? It has 10% less physical damage. Because the other person who was the sword user has significantly better range damage. So I swapped them around. There we go. How do you get more than three heroes? By having an in. Got an S rank there. We did lose five HP, but that's fine. Nice rank here. A decent amount of souls harvested. Quantity over quality. Strong momentum. Magic spill. 1,690 from this. Oh, it escalates so fast. I have no idea how much how much we lost. I, I have no idea, but it hurts. It hurts. All right, well, the first thing we're going to do... Well, welcome to the Oraculum, Commander. I don't understand. Mm, blist are thou. I would damn myself for oblivion. Blist. Know that we are doomed to this futile existence for the next few eons. Uh, well, I hope not. I've got plans. Right, there we go. Uh, we've got a couple of other things that we can unlock, but now here is a generated with plus one action points. I'm not sure that that's going to affect us at the moment. Um, because we're not generated. So, that'll be for the next run, basically. You haven't been paid out for the prediction? No, let me, uh, let me fix that for you. So, you're not going to be paid out much, but... There you go, there's your, there's your payout. Omega, thank you very much for the resub there, mate. Ten months. buddy. And while we're at it, we'll start the next prediction as well. So, uh, the ten people who, vote, who voted that I wouldn't see the next uh, see midnight, uh, they've paid out 2.6k dabba duggets to those of you, all 51 of you. <laughs> I, it's not going to be a very big, big payout, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but there you go, there's the next, uh, the next prediction. Will we see the third sunrise? Enjoy. All right, well, let's first see what we've got. We have got, ooh. Okay. An epic offhand magic weapon. Epic. I don't even. Limits per turn, unlimited. It costs two mana to use. Range one to eight. A penguin army. Teleporting does sound good. It really does. Ghostly Anarchist, thank you so much for those two gift subs there. That's really kind of you. The but let us let us pay attention to the fact that it's got plus four mana, minus one move, and then a plus an extra six mana, plus two daily mana regen, plus three percent damage, and plus ten percent critical power. Just wow. I, I can't say no to that. No matter what these are. I mean that is nice, but I just can't say no to th to that. My lord. I'll have to pop it down here, and I'll have to give you a probably a wand, honestly, so I can switch that out. But that is amazing. We're up to 25 mana. Dear Lord. How much should we regen now? Plus four. Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Magic damage can be up. 
Uh, to be honest, I'm going to go with magic damage, sure. Uh, ooh. Well, now. Okay, so we'll get extra propagations on spells, which we now have spells that propagate, so that works out as well. Um... Initiated if the hero didn't kill anyone this turn plus two propagation bonus minus three percent propagation damage and plus one multi-hit I see no problem with this Yeah, we don't even need to, to use it. We, we just need it in the offhand. It's, its abilities will be applied. Yeah, we're going to grab this one straight away. I wasn't sure how I was going to level you, but uh, no, that, that, one's, uh, that one's a given. All right. Uh, movement would be nice, but I actually I'm going to re-roll. Hmm, that hasn't really given me much. Okay, I guess I'll take the resistance. That's not a bad one, I, guess, I suppose. Uh, daily health regen, experience gain wouldn't be bad. Accuracy would be very good, though. Nice. I mean, I'm losing 10% because of your ability. That This would take us back up to 125%. So I voted against Avak, and if you win, that's great, because I can claim that I'm giving my ducats to Chad. But if I have a guy, I'm winning a lot of ducats? Yes, pretty much. Uh, you can level up multiple times per night, yeah. I think we're going to go with our accuracy on our archer. Uh, this point... I'm going to say... Mark is really nice, but I think we're going to go with steady aim instead. Right, as for you, I can negate our minus on uh, physical. I th well, actually, movement might be better. Uh, that minus four isn't really hurting me too much right now. Plus 20% experience gain is really bloody nice, though. I cannot, in good conscience, say no to that. Yikes. Okay. Leapfrog would be a decent skill, but realistically we're going for fatality here. Well, I've bought this now. I think I'll play it later. Okay, very well. As in, in the morning later. Very well. Yeah, getting someone to 10 movements is a light side unlocking thing, so we might want to focus on that one if we can. Alright, we've got some cash to hand. Another scavenger camp would actually be nice. You can't rotate buildings, which is a bit of a shame, but as I mentioned, that is something they're looking to introduce. Could pop one down there, maybe. Getting more materials is never bad. Sure, we'll pop that in. Uh, I would like Benediction, please. Upgrade. I would also like... Well, we'll check in what the shop has got. Ooh. Well, no. Some nice pants with the extra mana. Decent shield. Brute armor. Minus one movement point, minus five accuracy, but plus five percent stun chance, 20 health, and five blocks. So that would be good to equip if you had a uh, hammer. Crossbows. Now we're talking. Multi hits. For one damage, for one action slot, you can get a multi hit. 
And that multi-hit has a debuff of move. Crossbows are so powerful in that regard. We've also got Poisoned. Um, again, minus one move, move point. But Poisoned doesn't really do any damage itself. Uh, sorry, it, you don't do damage for hitting them, but it ignores armor. It ignores armor completely. Uh, you've also got uh, armor piercing here. Uh, this one just straight up ignores armor as well. And then uh, we've got blaze. Multi-hit and propagation on this. Yes, poison is damage over time. So in total, it'll be 120 damage across three turns. But it'll go through armor. As you've noticed, the armored have a lot of armor tank that you have to wear through. But then relatively low health, this can kill them fairly quickly. Well, they're not undead. They're, they're mutants rather than undead, which is why they're you, you probably the uh, confusion there. Let's have a look. Like three percent damage and five armor is just really good. I'm tempted to pick this up. I want the hand crossbow, but I'm really tempted. And you know what? I I'll grab this. We're gonna go ahead and equip. There we go. Now, I can have both of them because it'll give me more options with certain things, but I don't have a wand yet, so there's no point in me having someone with two attacks. So what I can do instead is give you this just in case. It doesn't really help me that much, but uh, for the time being, that's, that's decent. Now, I do need to use Benediction um, probably on my Archer. Yeah, let's use Benediction on our Archer. And then we're going to use a Worker to regenerate 10 mana there. And then another Worker to regenerate it. That is just bonkers. The amount of mana we've got there is, is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Glorious and ridiculous in equal measure. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, little wells that are just taking up a bit of room. And that gives us enough to purchase the crossbow. So yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to get this set up, but here we go. Not too bad. Uh, I guess you can have well no, I won't give you two swords. Can I put that in there? No. That would have been glorious, but alas. So there we are. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Now, we've got a decent amount of materials to build fortifications with. But first and foremost, I can't repair these, sadly, but I can repair this. Now, let's go ahead and seal that off. And then completely seal that across. It's not amazing, but it'll do. This side is going to be much more heavily protected as a result. Um, it doesn't really matter where my mage is right now, because they're not really set to to boost me the same the same way we were last time. And we'll just have to see how this goes. In fact, we're going to switch over to this due to the amount of slowdown we've got with that. Okay. Well, the Dapplings have made their predictions. What about selling the extra sword? Four gold seems to be an okay amount in this game. Um, yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah, the cross shotgun bow, yes. It's pretty amazing. Not gonna lie, it's pretty amazing. We're already in the right place. 
Okay, move them over there. Got a lot of runners. Okay, you're already doing damage that I dislike. Why? Alright. One, two. Three, four. Hop over. And then... Switch over and go for a power shot on you. And then hop back. Many of them will still be able to make a decent bit of progress, but... It's okay for now. I can finish you off so you can't get around. I might be able to kill you straight up. I did. Very nice. Right, we've already got the splitters in play. Which poses a bit of a threat. Can't hit many of them, so just need to slow them down where I can. Got eighty hit points. I will do that much just going straight through. Straight across. And I can probably finish the job and then draw back. Now, you will be able to get to me, but that's not too much of a threat right now. Get up to 490 essence. Now, what you don't want to do is use lightning when it's going to affect your own person, words of the wise. I mean, it's almost like you shouldn't need to explain that, but nevertheless. Uh, have we got anyone else close to death that I could finish off? Yes. I wonder, do they feel pain? Maybe. Uh, I've got a reasonable amount of movement over there. Right, let's clear them up a little bit. And straight through. Oh, wow, you didn't go down. That's uh, a bit of a problem for me. Now let's apply some lightning. Very beautiful and wonderful. Thank you very much. Got two more hits. Let's see how far you can move. Move reasonably far. Let's do a little bit more damage. Mostly aiming for the ones that haven't been wounded yet. Just to slow everyone down. You can get to me. We're going to have a bit of panic tonight, which is a real pain in the bum, I'm going to be honest, but I will. Now, we're going to have an enormous amount of panic tonight. We are not very, very careful. Uh, get some hits in there. Switching over to my regular bow. 
hopefully take you out. And same over there. Ah, drat. Okay. Let's try and electrocute. Uh, I think we're just going to have to suck it up and drop a big hit here. Just to clear enough of them. 